Check it out. For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I want to show you how to continue building a drawing tool using Vector.io and Touch.io. So here I have a touch screen and I have three points. And as I move any of these three points, I'm going to reveal a triangle which I can reshape and resize just by moving points around. In the code here I have uh, the display I.O. and vector I.O. libraries doing the heavy lifting. I'm also using the touch screen library so I can grab the position X, Y axes on the, uh, on the display there as I touch it. And then I'm creating three circles using vector I.O. and I'm making those big enough to sort of see and grab. I have a radius of 10 here that I'm using. Uh, and I'm giving them different colors using uh, pixel shaders. And then I create a triangle using the vector IO polygon object. So you can see these were circle, but this one is made from polygon. And you can give it as many points as is reasonable. In this case, it's just grabbing from the uh, XY positions of my three triangle points. And then I give that a pixel shader. Then I append those to the main group so they show up and set up the touch screen here. And then we have some variables here to keep track of when we're moving either circle one, circle two, or circle three so that we don't accidentally grab multiple points. So I'm, I'm only going to pay attention to one point that I'm moving around there. Uh, the main loop here, we look for a touch point. We, this touch screen dot touch point command. So that just says, hey, is the screen getting touched? Yes or no? And then we say, is the place that we're touching it on top of one of those circles, yes or no? So that's the ne next check there. Uh, the way that we do this is comparing the XY coordinate of where we've touched to the centroid of the circles using this formula here, which is the touch X position minus the circle X position squared plus Y minus Y squared. And then if that's less than or equal to the radius squared, then we're inside the circle. Uh, then we set that variable state to say, yeah, we're dragging one of the circles right now. This is true. Uh, and then depending on if that state is true, we start moving around the X, Y position of the circle itself using dragged circle X and dragged circle Y. Uh, and then at the same time, we're updating the triangle points. So any of those three circles XY positions become the new XY positions of the triangle. Uh, and then when we're done, when we stop touching it with this else here, we reset those variables to say, okay, the state of these is false, nothing is being moved around. And then we have a little bit of a delay there for some smoother dragging. And so that is how you can create an editable triangle in touch IO and vector IO inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.